Hello again. We're back here with the Devil's Bargain. And, uh... Even though I like multiple options here, I think this is the one I'm going to pick. Knowledge can be extremely disruptive to a society they were grappling with that. It doesn't say whether disruption is good or bad here. It just says disruptive. Which, I guess, has a negative connotation, but... Yeah. Sometimes industries need to be disrupted. Like, there's a lot of stuff in the real world right now where we have ways of improving things, but it would disrupt industries, and so they're fighting against that, you know? Like, the disruption would end up making things better for a majority of people, but people in that industry that's being disrupted would have things difficult for a while, or they might have to find other jobs. And it's, it's just one of those things where the knowledge is scary because it reveals that people's lives will have to change, even if that changes for the better, it's still scary. Uh, that's not exactly what I meant, though. Places of Belonging, New York. New York was a place that aroused great passions. Some loved it and called it the greatest city in the world. Others hated it and called it an ugly cesspit full of rude snobs. I don't know where the truth lies, but I know it was a place full of life. There was always something new going on. People were rushing about, excitement in the air. It must have been an overwhelming sensation to stand in the canyons formed by those great skyscrapers and a crowd of people showing history happening all around you. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, it would be very anxiety-inducing for me. I would not want to go there and risk getting my phone stolen, for example. <laughs> there's a lot of cities in the world where that happen. Pretty much a lot of big cities. Especially if there's issues with, you know, quality of life. It's a complex problem. A lot of interconnected pieces. see, how are we doing? 5 out of 8 main puzzles, 2 out of 2 lost puzzles, can't do this yet. 1 out of 1 lost labs, 2 out of 2 stars. Alright, well, let's continue with the main puzzles then. And I still need to remember that there is that thing over in that direction somewhere where we can break something out of a puzzle. Maybe this, actually. That one was prison, right? And it's solved now, so we can put all the connectors in. Can we get a cube out of there, I wonder? Or even just a connector? No, oh, it'd have to be a cube. Oh, I guess that could be either one, actually. Yeah, we don't need any of this anymore. Shut it all down. Alright. Um... Any of these walls low enough? We put a cube on this. Uh... Ah! Uh, <laughs> excuse me! That's, uh... Not quite how you would expect that to go. Hmm. These walls are all pretty high. Maybe I can't get a cube out of here. Oh, this one went down as well. Interesting. I guess that's because the puzzle's in a solved state now? Let's just test and see what happens if we do this. I mean, we can get a connector out, most likely, right? This totally has to work. Hey, it does work! <laughs> Did it! Prison break. Let us go get 
a flame, I think. Was the lab collapsed and over here somewhere we don't have a compass right now because we broke out of the puzzle in an unintended way or maybe unintended i'm not sure what puzzle they actually intended us to break out of but that's the one i broke out of here we go this is it doesn't even show up on the HUD yet, because... <laughs> it doesn't show up here, either. Uh, I have to, in turn, leave a puzzle for that, I suppose. No switch on the back. Where do we need to head off to? Uh, where was the black? I'll find one eventually. Six is in this direction, apparently. Really. Six is right here. Okay, good. You know, since we have this connector broken out, we could take it way up high and use it as a, a cheaty connector. Get a signal from anywhere we want, basically. on this, apparently. Uh-oh. Uh, I'll just put it... right about... I cannot put it... Here we go. Goodbye! <laughs> I was not expecting that to happen. Where did it fall and land? There it is. Alright, let's take you up to six, just because I know where you are. I mean, I guess we could use it to charge a, uh... Whatchamacallit. It would, like, it would be up there for long enough to charge one, but then... And once it fell... We wouldn't need it anymore, because it'd be charged. Right. Yes, we have eight flames now. There we go. Up and down. Ooh, that's spooky. Ooh, green. Ooh. So this would give us red, right? Oh, there's even... Like, even a designated spot to put it, apparently. Isn't that nice? Oh, let's try it. What do we do with red? What do we do with red? Oh, wait, we need blue, though. Ooh... Oh, I can take that off. What about this one? I can take that off as well. Do I need this? Eh, uh, well, yeah, I mean, duh. I can't get up there without it. I'm 
pretty sure I can't, like, let it launch me and take it at the same time. That would be a bug, right? Yep, I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> Yep. Not possible. Well, let's just try my first idea here. What do we want with red? Burn! <laughs> hmm. We want this? I think so, right? We're also thinking about how do we get this box out of here? Or do we need the box? What is the box for? Maybe we want the box to be up there, so that we can take off the fan and put it on this button and then take out whatever's... Or no, we can put the fan in... well, uh... Yeah, because we can put the fan in there, right? We need to have something up here before we do that. Alright, well, let's work on getting the box out, I suppose. Uh... Not like this. <laughs> I did not expect that interaction to happen. Alright, let's, um... That kind of works, I suppose. Let's take this. Alright. The box that we don't want or need is up here now. Uh, okay. Here's where we need to decide what we want up there. I think I was right to put the RGB converter up there. Let's, um... Yeah, let's do that. So we need blue there. Actually, can I just... Why? Oh, I, I think I was overcomplicating this. We don't even need to go up there anymore. Oh yeah, this is much simpler. Well, actually, I needed to do this anyway, so... I had to do that. Hey, it works. Did it. Subinator in this direction, presumably. Yep, here's seven. Propulsion. Accumulator. That's the word I couldn't remember. Hmm. The red there. Here's our laser source. Okay. I 
I see. Or actually, can I just do... Oh, I need the box over there, though. Ooh, hmm. Anything I bring over here gets stuck over here, though, right? Unless we have the driller to let it out. Yeah, that's our only way to get stuff back out of here once we bring it over here. Ooh. Isn't that interesting? Now what? Because we need the box. Actually, I guess it can stay on that side. We only need the box thing on this side, really. anymore. But you can be our sacrificial. And... Is that it? I think we're done. Yep, that was it. Elohim must be very proud of you, 1K. Transmission. That's the one I'm on. Take control, and... That fan is permanent. That fan is removable. Ooh! Hello. What's keeping the barrier off? What is keeping that barrier off? And why is it even there to begin with? Is it supposed to be like that? I mean, because we did- we do get the jammer up there to just immediately negate it anyway, so... Maybe they realized it was useless? Yeah, because I can jam it. But... Why was it already off? Strange... Why is this one already off as well? Uh, is it supposed to be like this? Uh... Hope oh, something isn't broken. I don't see anything up there. Need an item to swap though? Uh. Oh, right, okay.
Hmm. I need to bring something up here. How perplexing. What is this button for? What does this do? Is this puzzle broken right now? Let's try restart checkpoint. What does that do? I do not understand why this is the way it is. Huh. Maybe they'll patch this, but <laughs> I guess I have to solve it this way. Alright, so there was nothing up in that middle level, right? Wait, well, yeah, I think we have to go... Oh no, there was that- the swap platform with the connector is up there, that's right. need this right now. Yeah, because what is- what is there to jam? We- we don't need the jammer at all. Then why is this one here, though? Hmm... I don't know, something seems really... ...broken about this. Like, I'm pretty sure the puzzle isn't supposed to be this way. Cause this is way too easy. Isn't it? Well, uh... I might replay it if they patch it, but as of right now, I'm just going to have to solve it this way. Alright, we've gotten both stars, got the lab, can't do that yet. Done the last puzzles, done the main puzzles. I think we found other stuff, right? Is there any more question marks on our... compass? No, I think we got everything that I'm aware of. Right, well, let's go to the tower, I suppose. are heating up a bit. Ah, sure, let's go with that for now. First try. What was that one middle island that had the, the purple Athena and Miranda together? See anything like that here though. Oh, 
was Prometheus. Hear me, friend, and heed my words. Beware Pandora. She is nothing but fear and despair, and she will do anything to prevent you from reaching the flame. It is she who disrupted the trials of the Sphinx, and who bound me in the... Interrupted. Interesting. Well done, 1K. Looks like our hypothesis was correct. The megastructure is opening again. Everyone come to the VTOL, please. It's time to find Athena. What about Pandora? She seems capable of displacing or controlling the other entities. We should be careful, but we can't let such a vague threat paralyze us. Just keep your eyes open. I guess that's blinking because this is where we are now. Mega structure. Expeditions base camp on a promontory overlooking the lake on which the mega structure is located. Promontory, that's the word I'm not familiar with. Let's see if we can drop There's off our stars. I've thinking about. I know the new Alexandria disaster was traumatic. I know accidents like that make us think that it's best to stick to what we have. But what about all the accidents that have happened in New Jerusalem that nobody talks about? The collapse of the Rakovsky building. The Calvin Street explosion. The derailment that almost killed Benaroya and Canada. All of those happened because we stopped investing enough resources in our civilization. And if Melville hadn't been put in charge of city maintenance, this would still be happening. It will happen again either way. With how little we have to work with, it's only a matter of time. You see, there may be a price for pursuing progress, but there's also a price for not pursuing it. Yep. Eventually the sun's gonna blow up, and if y'all haven't figured out how to get off this planet, you're just gonna die with it. Or well, I think it'll expand to encompass the Earth first. Something like that. Either way, bad things are gonna happen if you stay on this planet without doing anything. There's our lasers! How did I not find this before? I think I saw somebody else discover this, but I don't remember finding it myself. Transformers. I wonder if they're actually still functional or not. They don't seem to be being used, otherwise stuff wouldn't be growing on them. Sphinx, Pandora, and Prometheus. All right. VTOL is not on the compass, that's interesting. Did I explore over here? I don't think I did. Looks like there might not be much up here anyway. Unless I can get up on top of this cliff somehow. Nah, yeah, that's just... Wait. Wait. Hey! 
Isn't this a surprise? I'm up here. Am I supposed to be up here, though? This is a nice view, but is there anything up here? I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to be here. I don't think I can climb any higher on this. Beautiful view. Hmm. This right here suggests to me that they did not expect players to get up here. <laughs> oh, this game is certainly breakable, like Talus One was. objective is to determine the relationship between the megastructure and Athena. Did she find it? Did she build it? Why was she here in the first place? Explore. Dig up anything you can. We need to start finding answers. I can't imagine one person building all this. Don't forget about Miranda. There were at least two of them. I can't imagine a hundred people building this. All right, everyone. Have a look around, but stay in touch and be careful. 1K, can you stay a moment? I'd like to talk to you. I know you can't wait to start exploring, but just hear me out, okay? I'm concerned. Byron is brilliant, but all he can think about is the possibility of finding Athena. She was his mentor, and her disappearance shattered him. I'm afraid he's not seeing the dangers of the megastructure. To me, this place seems chaotic, dysfunctional. Yes, it's all very impressive, but I think it's broken. And what we're seeing is, uh, it's nonsense, frankly. You've interacted with it more than anyone. What do you think? So you see it that way too, huh? Well, maybe I'm wrong. I hope so. But please, be careful. Yeah, it doesn't seem broken to me. Like, it, everything seems to work so far. There's nothing to really stop their progress. All the puzzles are still working and all that. Despite all the error logs. I'm headed deeper into the megastructure. Not quite sure where I am. Seem to be right in the middle of the machinery. Please, watch yourself, Byron. This is incredible. I don't even know how to describe what I'm seeing. I don't think this is a building. I think this is a machine. That door won't open yet. Might open later, though. Oh, I guess we can't go up wherever that is. Alright, terminal it is.
boss leads errors frustration we need to move experiments further apart or if it picks ripple out at enormous distances waves we need to move experience further apart can we literally bootstrap this to any scale well evidently they succeeded at whatever they were trying to do bootstrap now that's a familiar phrase or term word Why don't you just tell people that they're wrong? If you tell them the truth, they'll listen. It's not that simple. Straton wrote that the most common error we commit is to think that ideas determine reality, when in fact the opposite is true. Ideas follow from material conditions. Belief systems are formed to explain and justify the way we live. We did not have kings because we believed in the mandate of heaven. We believed in the mandate of heaven because we lived in monarchies. But we have free will. Oh, free will isn't the same as freedom, Miranda. We're not free from the constraints of reality or history. I was shaped by the simulation. New Jerusalem is shaped by its limitations. So what? We're just trapped? History can only go one way? Maybe, maybe not. The question is, how do we free ourselves? How do we build a world where our ideas do shape reality? That's why we came here. I knew it! Athena's here. She built this. That other voice. Was that Cornelius? It definitely sounded like him. Come to think of it, he went on a research expedition around the time Athena vanished. He was gone for years. People thought he'd died. And all this time, he knew where she was? We should talk to him. We will, when we get back. But right now, we have to focus on finding Athena. We are so close. I'm not sure Athena should be our focus right now. <laughs> yeah, that other guy was right. He is way too focused on Athena. But then he asked about... The, if things are broken, and that's not really related either. It's kind of weird how they're, they're both getting sidetracked by unrelated things. Oh! Either we're going to flip that right side up, or it's going to flip us upside down. Isn't that curious? Wow. Doesn't this remind you a lot of Portal 2? You know, the BTS stuff? Hmm. <laughs> oh, yes. Are those surfaces magnetic? No, nope. it's anti-gravity. Your coat was right. I should have known. <laughs> it's the adhesion gel! Although I don't think you can spread it wherever you want. Okay, I'm over here. Hold on. I'll open that door for you. Over where? I literally don't know where you were talking to me from. Interesting. So that's our goal.
Oh, wow. First try. I mean, they was all in the right order and everything. Same pattern as before. Three beams, three receivers. I guess we know what to do. Be careful. The sheer amount of power running through this place. I'll take care of this puzzle. You do the other two, okay? Uh, what puzzle are you talking about? I this don't even know where you fun. are. Maybe Alexandra Drennan was right. Play is part of what makes us human. Are you? And how do I stop you from solving the puzzles that I wanted to play? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Someone's logged into the system. But when I try to access that information, it all glitches out. That was easy. I guess we'll do this one just because we're here. That was if I walk off the side. Jump off. Interesting. Now I have to actually hold the direction key before that jump off prop appears. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Double tap space to disengage entirely from it. Where are we? Alright, this is back at the start, so it's all connected now. Good. Alright, well. Let's go back to that one, I suppose. There's a puzzle up here. A test element outside a test. Isn't that curious? Uh... Okay, I think we know where that has to go. Why? 
Oh no. How was I supposed to know? Where's the checkpoint? Oh good. It don't walk into that gap again. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't actually let me walk here. Interesting. I can't jump on this. Now I can jump on it. Okay, I just had to complete it first. Another unnamed puzzle. I'm curious. <laughs> A tiny barrier. That works. Is that fire or just lighting being weird? Take me to walk on this. I have a checkpoint at least. Hey, shortcut. Kind of. Have I not done that one? Okay. Yeah, that's fun. Ooh. Not to alarm anyone, but I think the ground is shaking. According to the system, whole parts of the interior are moving around. Like it's rearranging itself. I think that's what happened last time. When I took the elevator, the platform where I got out just moved away. Oh, this is the upside down puzzle. We definitely don't want to double press space in here. <laughs> oh, that would be terrible if we did, wouldn't it? Yeah. Oh, wait. I can press space once. Okay. Spamming space does nothing. That's good. But we are definitely upside down. This one just doesn't let us disengage. It does let us jump. That's interesting. Because that's our ultimate goal. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay, that's a drillable wall. I get it now. Ooh. Hey, excuse me? Am I supposed to connect to that other puzzle that the other guy did? Oh, oh. I thought I had something for a moment there. Ah. Uh. 
Am I missing something in here? Oh! <laughs> I completely did not see this. Or I saw it and it didn't register to me. What else is behind here? Just that? Um... Anything else? That? Oh! Oh! Why, hello there! Okay, now things are making more sense. I guess we're not supposed to take a connection from elsewhere. <laughs> or maybe we are, who knows. Right? What will we really need? Oh, this is already green, okay. So we don't need that anymore, I suppose. You can go away, we'll take the driller now. There we go. back from upside down land. What these are about. It's not letting me to okay, so I have to be within a certain distance of the ground, I guess, before it'll let me disengage. Maybe. Yeah. If I, oh, that does work from it there. I can try this again from a little bit further back. Huh. I may, I guess that's only designated zones, or maybe that one's just not high enough for my demonstration. But either way, you know what I mean. you get here, sir, from up here? Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. A place I cannot go. What is that? Another one of these places. You know what? I think I will leave it here for the next episode. Thank you for watching.